Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about third parties in the presidential election, and how I feel about supporting them, and what I think you can do if you want to support them. I unfortunately see a lot of discussion about third parties that I don't like, and I see a lot of moralizing and judgment. I see a lot of people out there in this particular election who are saying things like, if you vote for a third party, you're just throwing away your vote. And one of the things that really bothers me about this is that there's not any distinction made between voting for a third party in a swing state and voting for a third party in a state where it's virtually certain that the state is going to go to one of the mainstream candidates. So, for example, California has in recent years been always going Democratic, and other states like North Dakota, South Dakota, are virtually certain to go to the Republicans. So, if you live in one of these states, and you're voting for a third party, the third parties, they're nowhere near the point of sort of tipping or throwing the election in these states. So you're, you're not throwing your vote away, you're making your vote heard for this sort of important small minority, and you're helping those minority parties to get more visibility. If you live in a swing state, on the other hand, it might be more important to think about whether you really have a strong opinion on the two candidates. I have a very strong opinion in terms of preferring Hillary over Trump, and I would strongly recommend that if you live in a swing state, to vote for Hillary Clinton. But if you want to support third parties, I think that there are some much more important things you can do in the long term. And one of them is to start thinking about, and start talking about, and start advocating for ranked choice voting. What is ranked choice voting? There are a lot of different voting systems out there, but ranked choice voting is when you have, uh, instead of voting for just one candidate, you rank the candidates. So you're like, okay, my first choice might be this one candidate, so I might be like, okay, Hillary Clinton first, and then my second choice, might be Jill Stein from the Green Party, and then my third choice might be Gary Johnson from the Libertarian Party, and then I might not want to vote for anyone else after that. Uh, the, the advantage of this ranked choice voting system is that you're no longer being forced to choose between the lesser of two evils, so to speak. You can pick your ideal candidate first, and then you can have fallback candidates that might be more mainstream. Now, there are no states currently that practice ranked choice voting in the U.S., but this might change soon. There is a referendum on the ballot in Maine to use ranked choice voting for state elections. It wouldn't be for the federal elections, but it would be for the local elections within the state of Maine. And this is coming up to vote in this upcoming election. And I'm really excited about this. I have not heard many people talking about it. I think it is really groundbreaking, because it is the first proposal like this that I have seen get as far as this. And more importantly than this one referendum, though, I think it is important to talk about this concept, and to advocate for it. Like, instead of arguing back and forth, moralizing about, is it irresponsible or whatever to vote third party, how about you start lending your voice to supporting ranked choice voting? I think that if more people were talking about it, if more people were sharing material about it on social media, if people were asking the mainstream political candidates to support it, I think that it could become a reality. I think it could become a reality at the national level, and I think it would have fantastic results for getting us away from this whole two-party system dominance, and getting us away from this problem of having to vote for the lesser of two evils. So that's what I have to say about third parties. Basically, uh, whether or not to vote for a third party in the upcoming election, I think it depends on whether or not you live in a swing state. I would give very different recommendations based on whether or not you live in a swing state. But in the long run, I think the more important thing to do is to start questioning our voting system, and to support alternative voting systems, like ranked choice voting. Thank you.